let's solve a few questions from the chapter HCF and LCM. Going to the first question, LCM of 15 and 20 is. So 15 and 20, we could actually write out the factors, right? So we'll do the prime factorization method. So 15 could be written as 3 into 5 and 20 could be written as 4 into 5. 4 into 5 can further be written as 2 into 2, which is 4 into 5. So what are the common factors here? We have 5 in common. So we'll write it out as 3 into 2 square into 5. We have two 2's here. So it's written as 2 square into 5. So 5 into 2, 5 into 4 is 20, uh, 20. 20 into 3 gives us 60. And 60 is the answer for this question. Now, LCM of 12, 15, 20 and 27. Again, this can be done using the prime factorization method as these are very small numbers. We could write 12 as 2 into 6, which could further be written as 2 into 2 into 3. And 15 could be written as 3 into 5. 20 could be written as 4 into 5, which could be again written as 2 into 2 into 5. And 27 could be written as 3 into 9, which can be written as 3 into 3 into 3. So, is there any common numbers here in all four of these numbers? There is nothing common in all four of these numbers. So, we will multiply it with each other. We have 2 into 2 into 3, which is 12 into 15 into 20 into 27. So, we have 12 into 15 we'll get the answer as 180. So this is 180 and we have 27 into 20. So we'll get 540 as the answer here. Now we have to multiply these two numbers and we'll get the answer to be 540. Now LCM of a cube plus b cube and a raised to 4 minus b raised to 4 is. So, what are the multiples of a cube plus b cube? a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. This is the general expansion of a cube plus b cube and a raised to 4 minus b raised to 4 can be written as a plus b into a minus b which gives us a square minus b square into a square plus b square. So, what is the uh, common here? We have a square, a plus b is common here. Now, we have a plus b into a minus b into a square plus b square, which could be written as a plus b into a minus b into a square plus b square. So, which is a cube plus b cube into a plus b into a square plus b square. So, this is the answer for this question. Now, LCM of x plus 2 the whole square into x minus 2 and x square minus 4x minus 12. So, we have x plus 2 the whole square into x minus 2 and the second term is x square minus 4x minus 12. So, x plus 2 the whole square into x minus 2 could be written as x square plus 4x plus 4 into x minus 2. Now, otherwise we could write the same number as x plus 2 into x plus 2 which gives us x plus 2 the whole square into x minus 2. Now, when we are factorizing this term which is x square minus 4x minus 12, the middle term normally gives us the sum and the last term normally gives us the product of these numbers. So, let's imagine these numbers are x plus or minus a number multiplied by x plus or minus another number. So, the sum of these two numbers are minus 4. So, sum is minus 4 and the product is minus 12. So, if we are talking about a number which have a product is minus 12, we could take the number as minus 6 and plus 2. So, what is minus 6 into 2? That's minus 12 and minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. So, we could write this as x minus 6 and x plus 2. 
So in these x plus 2 is common. So we could take 1 x plus 2 out and then we have x minus 2 and then x minus 6. So this could be written as x square minus 2 square which is x square minus 2 square and x minus 6. So this is x minus 2 and x plus 2 the whole square and x minus 6. Now let's move on to the next question. HCF of 6, 8 and 12 is. So 6 could be written as 2 into 3. 8 could be written as 2 cube which is 2 into 2 into 2. And 12 could be written as 3 into 4 and 4 is 2 into 2. So we could write it as 2 into 2 into 3. So what is the common factor in all three numbers? It's 2 here. So 2 is the HCF of 6, 8 and 12. Now let's move on to the next question. HCF of 132, 204 and 228 is. So here we might have to use the division method. And first of all, we'll find the HCF of two numbers. And then we'll find the HCF of the HCF of first two numbers and the third number. That's how we find the HCF of three numbers. So we have 132 and 204. So 132 is the lesser number than 204. So 204 becomes the dividend and 132 becomes the divisor. And 1 times 132 gives us 72. Now let's take 132 as the dividend. So we have 132 as the dividend and 72 as the divisor. So 72 into 2 gives us 144. So we can do it one time here. Again, we'll get 0. 13 and 7, we have 6. Now we have 60 as the divisor and we'll take 72 to be the dividend. So we have 1 times 60 which leaves us with 12. Now we have 12 as the divisor and 60 as the dividend. We have 5 into 12 is 60. So the number which gives us 0 as the remainder is 12. So 12 is the HCF of 132 and 204 is 12. Now we have to find the HCF of 12 and 228. So we have 228 to be the dividend and 12 to be the divisor. So we have 12 into 12 into 12 is 144, right? Now what is 12 into 9? 9 twos are 18, 9 ones are 9 and 11. Now 12 into 19 becomes, this is 10 and 2 and 1, we get 228. So 19 times 12 is 228. So the HCF here is the number or the dividend which gave us 0 as the remainder which is actually 12. So the HCF of 132, 204 and 228 is 12. Now the HCF of two consecutive odd numbers is. So what are two consecutive odd numbers? Let's say we have 3 and 5. These are two consecutive odd numbers. So the multiples of 3 would be 3 into 1 and 5 would be 5 into 1. Let's take the other uh, odd numbers. Let's talk about 7. It's 7 into 1. 9 is 3 into 3. Uh, again, 11 would be 11 into 1. So, the only common factor or the highest common factor of two consecutive odd, odd numbers is always 1. Now, find the LCM of 4, 10 and 12. So, we have 4 which can be written as 2 into 2. 10 which is written as 5 into 2 and 12 which could be written as 3 into 2 into 2. So we have 2 common in all of these. So we multiply this 2 by 2 2's here which is given and we have 5 into 3. So we have 15 into 2 which is 30 and we have 4 here. So 30 into 4 gives us 120. So 120 is the least common multiple of 4, 10 and 12. Now the product of HCF and LCM of 14 and 16 is. So we have to find both HCF and LCM of 14 and 16 and then find the product of it. So first let's actually factorize both of these numbers. 
14 could be written as 7 into 2 and 16 could be written as 8 into 2 or 2 cube which is 2 into 2 into 2. So, 2 here is the highest common factor. It is clearly given that HCF is equal to 2. Now, what is LCM? LCM is equal to 7 into 2 into 2 into 2 which is 8, 7. 2 cube is 8 and 8 into 7 is 56. Now, the product of HCM, HCF and LCM. So, we have to find 56 into 2 which gives us 112. So, 112 is the answer for this question. Now, the H LCM and HCF of two numbers are 4125 and 25 respectively. One number is 375. By how much is the second number less than the first? So, here we use the property which is LCM into HCF of a number is equal to the product of two numbers. So, LCM and HCF of two numbers is equal to the product of those two numbers. So, we it is given that the LCM and HCF of two numbers are 4125 and 25 respectively. So, this side would be 4125 into 25 and one of the number is given to be 375. Let us call the other number x. So, x would be here. So, we have x is equal to 4125 into 25 by 375. Now, let us cut this down by 5. We will get 5. 7 5s are 35 and 5 again. 5 and 75. Again, we get uh, 1 5s are 5 and 15. Again, cutting it down by 5, we will get 3. 8 5s are 40. And in 12, we get 2 5s are 10 and 8 25. Let us see whether 8 25 is divisible by 3. We have 8 plus 2 is 10 and 10 plus 5 is 15. So, 15 is a multiple of 3. So, it is divisible by 3. So, we could cancel this out and we will get 2 3 is 6. 22, 7 3 is 21 and 1 is the balance and 15 we will get 5. So, 275 is the second number. So, we got both of the numbers. One is given which is 375 and the other number is 275. Now, we have to find the difference between both these numbers because the question asked is how much is the second number less than the first. So, 375 minus 275 is equal to 100 and 100 is the answer for this question. Now, the GCD of two polynomials, GCD is the greatest common divisor. GCD means the greatest common divisor. So, the greatest common divisor is just another name for highest common factor or HCF. So, the GCD of two polynomials is x plus 3 and LCM is x cube minus 7x plus 6. If one of the polynomial is x square plus 2x minus 3, the other is. So, we are using the same property here that is LCM into HCF of two numbers is equal to product of two numbers. Instead of numbers, we have polynomials here. So, one uh, the HCF of the polynomial is x plus 3 and the LCM is x cube minus 7x plus 6, which is equal to one of the polynomial is given here, which is x, x square plus 2x minus 3. And we have to find the other polynomial. Let me name it p of x. p of x is the polynomial we have to find. Now, we have x plus 3 here. Then we have x cube minus 7x plus 6. So, we have x cube minus 7x plus 6. Or this is x square which is equal to x square plus 2x minus 3 into p of x. So, x, to x square minus 7x plus 6. We can split this into two terms, x plus 1 term and x minus 1 term. No, this is both minus because the sum is, uh, the product is given to be positive and the sum is given to be negative. So, for the sum to be negative, and the product to be positive, we need two numbers with the sign negative. 
because negative into negative becomes positive and if we take the sum of this, the answer would be negative. Now we have 6 and 1. So if we take minus 6 plus minus 1, the sum would be minus 7 and minus 6 into minus 1, we'll get plus 6 as the product. So we could write this as x plus 3 into x minus 6 into x minus 1 which is equal to we have x square plus 2x minus 3 here here it's the vice versa like the sum is actually given to be positive and the product is given to be negative it means that one of the term is positive and the other term is negative and also the higher term have a positive sign that's why the sum becomes positive so we have 2 and 1 so or we could take it as 3 and 1 3 minus 1 gives us plus 2 and 3 into minus 1 gives us minus 3 so we could write this as x plus 3 into x minus 1 into p of x so to find p of x we'll get x plus 3 into x minus 6 into x minus 1 divided by x plus 3 into x minus 1. So we could cancel out x plus 3 and x minus 1 from both of the sides and we'll get the answer to be x minus 6. Now let's move on to the next question. The HCF and LCM of two numbers are 12 and 72 respectively. If the sum of two numbers is 60, then one of the two numbers would be. So we have the HCF and LCM given here. So, HCF of the number is equal to 12 and LCM is equal to 72. If the sum of two numbers is 60, that means that if I'm taking a number to be x, the other num number would be 60 minus x, then one of the two numbers would be. So, we have, according to the earlier property which we have studied, the product of LCM and HCF is equal to the product of two numbers. So, the two numbers would be x and 60 minus x just because you know the sum of these two numbers is 60 which is equal to 12 into 72. So let's see what 12 into 72 is. We'll get 4, 2, 7, 2 is a 14 and 8. This again becomes 864. So we have 60x minus x square is equal to, let's do this again which is 4, 2, 4 and 8 so we get 864 so here it's negative x so we'll take this to the other side so that we'll get x square minus 60x plus 864 is equal to 0 now this is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation now, the solution of a quadratic equation, as we studied earlier, x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, what is minus b here? Negative of negative 60 becomes positive 60. Plus or minus root of b square, 60 square would become 6 square is 36 and we'll add two zeros to it, which is 3600 minus 4 into 1 into 864 so 864 into 4 this will give us 6 16 and 6 plus 24 so 25 8 plus 32 plus 2 is 34 so we have 3 4 5 6 divided by 2 times a is 1 so 2 times 1 this would give us 60 plus or minus root of 3600 minus 3, 4, 5, 6. So, subtracting this, we'll get 1, 4 and 4. So, root of 144 divided by 2. Again, this would give us 60 plus or minus 12 by 2. So, when we do 60 plus 12 by 2, we'll get 72 by 2. And if it's 60 minus 12 by 2, this is 48 by 2. So, here we'll get 2 and 72 cancels out to be 3, 2 is a 6, 1, 2, 36 and 24. So we got one of the numbers here to be 24. Now let's move on to the next question. The difference of two numbers is 20 and their product is 56.25 times the difference. 
find the LCM of the numbers. So the difference of two numbers is 20. So that means if one number is x, the other number would be x plus 20. And the product is 56.25 times the difference. So 56.25 times the difference is the product. So we could say that x into x minus 20, the product is 56.25 times the difference. The difference is x plus 20 minus x. So this would give us x square minus 20x is equal to 56.25 times 20 is 56.25 into 2. We have 5 twos are 10, 2 twos are 4 and 1 is 5, 6 twos are 12, 5 twos are 10 and 1 is 11. We have 1, 1, 2, 5, 0, right? Now this is uh, again divided by 20 means we have one more 0 here. Then we have two decimal places so it becomes 1, 1, 2, 5. So taking this to the other side, we will get x square minus 20x minus 1, 1, 2, 5. So x is equal to according to the solution of the quadratic equation, minus b is negative of negative 20 which becomes positive plus or minus root of b square is 20 into 20 which is 400 minus 4 into a which is 4 into 1 4 into c is minus minus 4 into minus 1 1 2 5 this becomes plus so 1 1 2 5 into 4 gives us 5 4 are 20 4 2 are 8 9 10 4 1 are 4 and 5 4 1 are 4 which is 4500 0, 0 by 2 times a is 1. This becomes 20 plus or minus root of 4900 0, 0 divided by 2. And this is equal to 20 plus or minus 4900 0, 0, 7 squares of 49. So 70 square would be 4900 0, 0 by 2. So what is 70 plus 20? That is 90 by 2 will give. 45 or what is 20 minus 70 or 70 minus 20 would be 50 50 by 2 would be 25 that is minus 25 actually x minus 25 it is so find the lcm of these numbers so we have to find the lcm of 45 and 25 so we could do this with 5 we'll get 9 and 5 again with 5 we'll get 9 and 1 with 3 we'll get 3 and 1 Again with 3, we will get 1 and 1. So it's 5 into 5 into 3 into 3, which is 5 5s so are 25, 25 into 9. 9 5s so are 45, 9 2s so are 18, 18 plus 4 is 22. So the answer for this question is 225. Now, the greatest number that will divide 478 and 719, leaving remainders 2 and 5 respectively. So whenever you find the term greatest number, you have to know that we have to find the highest common factor. So of what do we have to find the highest common factor? We have to find the HCF of 478 which leaves 2 as the reminder that means minus 2 and 719 which leaves 5 as the reminder which is minus 5. So we have to find the HCF of 476 and 714 right now let's find the hcf of both of these numbers we have 476 as the uh, smaller number so we are using it outside and we have 714 we know that 4 to the 8 so we'll just do it one times so we have 476 this becomes 14 and this becomes 0 and 6 plus 8 is 14 we have 10 here and we have 6 here so 10 minus 7 is 3 and 6 minus 4 is 2. Now we have 238 outside and we will take 476 inside. We have 476. Now what is 238 into 2? We have 8 twos is 16, 2 threes is 6 and 7, 2 twos are 4. Here we got 476. So 2 times 238 is 476 and 0 as the remainder. So what is the number which gives us 0 as the remainder? That is 238 and 238 is the HCF of these two numbers. Now 
there are 408 boys and 312 girls in a school which are to be divided into equal sections of either boys or girls alone. The total number of sections thus formed would be. So, we have 408 boys and 312 girls. Let's find the highest common factor of 408 and 312. 408 and 312. We have 408 inside and 312 outside. So, obviously, this is 1 times. We have 3, 1, 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. This is 10 and this would be 3. So, we have 96 and we will take 3, 1, 2 inside. So, what is 96 into 2? It's 6, 2 is a 12, 9, 2 is a 18 and 90, 192. What about th uh, 96 into 3? 6, 3 is a 18, 9, 3 is a 27 and 28. So, this would be the closest number. So, 3 into 96 is 288. So, this would be 12, this would be 0. This becomes 4, this is 10 and 2. So, 10 minus 8 is 24. Now, we have 24 and we take the 96 inside. So, what is 24 into 4? 4 4 is 16, 4 2 is 8 and 9. So, we have 4 here and we get 96 and 0. So, what is the highest common factor? This is equal to 24. Now, the total number of sections thus formed would be 408 by 24 is the number of sections of boys and 312 by 24 would be the number of section of girls. Now, let's do 408 by 24. Let's cut it out by 4. We have 6 4s are 24, 1 4s are 4, 0 and 2 4s are 8. Let's cut this out by 6 and we'll get 1 6 is 6 and 42, 6 7s are 42. So, we have 17 here. Again, we have 3, 12 and 24. We could cut this out by 6. 6, 4 is a 24. 6, 5 is a 30 and 6, 2 is a 12. And 52 and 4. 1, 4 is a 4 and 12. We have 3. So, we have 17 plus 13 which leaves us with 30 as the answer for this question. Now, let's move on to the next question. The least number which when divided by 12, 16, 18 and 30 leaves remainder 4 in each case but it is completely divisible by 7 is. So, first let's find the LCM of 12, 16, 18 and 30. So, we have 12, 16, 18 and 30. We will find the LCM. The easiest way would, to, would be to write the common factors or we could do this way. So, we will divide it by 2, we will get 6, 8, 9 and 15. Again by 2, we will get 3, 4, 9 and 15. And again by 2, we will get 3, 2, 9 and 15. Again by 2, we will get 3, 1, 9 and 15. So, we have 3, 1, 9, 15 by we have 3 which is 1, 1, 3, 15. Again by 3 we will get 1, 1, 1, 15. Again by 3, uh, uh, no, this would be 15 and 3 would cancel out to be 5. This would be 5. Now, we will 5 we will get 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, we have 4 times 2 which is 16 into 3 into 3 is 9, 9 into 5. So, what is 16 into 5? 6 5s are 30, 5 1s are 5 and 8. Now, we have 8 9s are 72 and we have 720 as the LCM. So, this rem uh, number, this LCM multiplied by a number, let us say Q and the remainder gets 4 is actually divisible by 7. So, what if we take 1 to be this number? We will get 724. Is 724 divisible by 7? 7 once is 7, 7 0 and no, it is not. Now, what is 720 into 2? We will get 4 and 1440, 1444. Is 1444 divisible by 7? We will get 2 7s of 14 and 0 and 44, it is not. Now, what about 72 into 3? We will get 3 2 is 6, 7 3 is 21. So, 7 3s would be 21 and 16, no. 
Now what about 720 into 4? We will get 8 and 7 to the 28. 2880 plus 4 would be 2884. It would be 7 4 so 28 and 1 7 so 7, 1 4 17. Yes, we would get the answer to be 2884, which is divisible by 7, and this Q would return to be 4. So, what is the number here? It's 2884. Now, three tankers contain 403 liters, 434 liters, and 465 liters of diesel, respectively. The maximum capacity of a container that can measure the diesel of three containers exact number of times is. So, we have the term maximum capacity here. So, it's very obvious that it's, it's a problem of highest common factor. So, we have to find the HCF of 403, 434 and 465. So, this would give us 403 and 434, right? So, let's find the HCF of these numbers, 434 is bigger and 403 would remain here. So, 1 times this would give us 403 and we will get 31 and we have 403 here. Now, this would be greater than 10 anyway, right? The quotient because 3, 31 into 10 is 310 which is lesser than 403. Now, 31 into 11 would give us a term which is ending in, okay, let us see. We have 1, 3, 1, 3. We have 1, 4, 3. 341 it is. Now, what about 3, 31 into 12? We have 2, 6, 1, 3 and 372. Now, what about 31 into 13? 3, 3, 3 is a 9. 1, 1 is a 1. 1, 3 is a 3. So, 9 plus 1 is 10 and we get 403 perfectly. And this would be 13 and 403, which gives us 0, right? So, the HCF is equal to 31. And then we have to find the HCF of 31 and 465. So, here we take 465 inside and 31 outside, right? Now, let's see what is 31 into 15. 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15. And 1 ones are 1, 3 ones are 3, we have 5, 6 and 4 perfectly we will get 15 times 31 is 465. So, the HCF of this is 31 letter and the answer for this question is 31 letter. Let us move on to the next question. Three boys step off together from the same place. If they step measure 36 centimeter, 48 centimeter and 54 centimeter at what distance from the state starting point will they again step together. So, in here we have to find the LCM of 36, 48 and 54. So, we have to find the LCM of 36, 48 and 54. So, we will do the prime uh, division method. We have 36, 48 and 54. We will take the LCM here. So, we have 2 we have 1, 8, 2, 4 and 2, 7. Now, again by 2, we will get 9, 12 and 27 as such. Again with 2, we will get 9, 6 and 27. By 2, again, we will get 9, 3 and 27. And by taking 3, we will get 3, 1 and 9. Again by 3, we are going to get 1, 1 and 3. Again by 3, we will get 1, 1 and 1. So, it is basically 2 raised to 4 into 3 raised to 3. 2 raised to 4 is 16 and 3 raised to 3 is 27. So, we will find 27 into 16. 6 sevens are 42, 4. 6 to the 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. Now, 1 7 is 7, 1 to the 2. We have 2, 6 plus 7 is, uh, 6 plus 7 is 13. Now, we have 2 plus 2 is 4. So, we have 432 centimeters or which could be written as 4 meters and 32 centimeters. So, the answer for this question is 4 meter 32 centimeter. So, let us move on to the next question. The greatest length which can be used to measure exactly the length 7 meter 3 meter 8 centimeter 
and 12 meter 9 centimeter is. So we have 7 meter which is equal to 700 centimeter. We have 3 meter 8 centimeter, 85 centimeter actually, 85 centimeter which is equal to 385 centimeter. Now we have 12 meters and 95 centimeters which is equal to 1295 centimeter. Now let's find the HCF of 700, 385 and 1295. So what is the HCF of 700 and 385? 700 and 385. So we have 700 inside and 385 outside. What is 385 into 2? 5 to the 10, 8 to the 16 and 17, 3 to the 6 and 7. So we have 770. So this is only one times, which is 385. This becomes 10, this is 9 and this is 6. So 315 becomes the answer. Now we have 385 inside, 1 times 315. This is 7, right? Now we have 315 again. So 70 and 315. So 7 into 5 is 35. So 7 into 70 into 4 would be 280. So 4 into 70 is 280. This is 5. This would become 11. This would become 2. And 8 plus 3 is 11. So we have 35 outside and 70. So 35 into 2 as we know is 70. So 35 is the highest common factor between these two. Now we have to find the HCF of 7, uh, 35 and 1295. So we have 1295 outside and 35 inside. So let's see 350. So 20 times would be 7000, 7, no 700, right? No, 30 times would be 30 times 35 would be 35 into 3 is 5, 3 is 15, 3, 3 is 9 and 10, 1050, right? And 35 into 4 would be 5, 4 is 20, 4, 3 is 12, 5, 6. So this would be between 30 and 40, right? Now we have 35 into 30 to 1050. Now what is 35 into 35? We have 5, 5 is 25. 5 3 is 15, 16 17, 5 3 is 15, 3 3 is 9 and 10. So we have 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, 2 and 1. It's 1, 2, 2, 5, right? Now, I think that's the closest we'll get. So 35 times 35 is 1, 2, 2, 5. We'll get 0 and 7, right? Now we have, no, so we could do one more. So what is 35 into 36? That would be 1, 2, 2, 5 plus 35, which is 6, 1, 2, 6, 0. Again, what is 1, 2, 2, 5? No, 35 into 37. That is 35, 1, 2, 6, 0 plus 35. This would be perfectly 1, 2, 9, 5. So this is actually 37, which gives us 1, 2, 9, 5. The answer would be 0, right? So the answer for this question, the HCF is equal to 35 centimeters. So the answer for this question is equal to 35 centimeter. Now, Fatima wants to mail three parcels to three villages in school. She finds that the postal charges are rupees 20, 28 and 36 respectively. If she wants to buy stamps only of one domination, what is the greatest domination of stamps she must buy to mail three parcels? So again, we find the greatest terms here. So it's actually the highest common factor. So we have to find the HCF of 20, 28 and 36. We could do it in both ways. Either we could do, do 20 as 4 into 5, which becomes 2 into 2 into 5. Now 28 could be written as 14 into 2. Now, which is equal to 2 into 2 into 7 because 7 to is a 14 and 14 into 2 is 28. Now, we have 36. 36 is actually 12 into 3, which could be written as 12 is 4 into 3 and 4 is 2 into 2 into 3 is 12 into 3 is 36. So, we have 
2 and 2 here other than that there is no common factor so 2 into 2 is equal to 4 and 4 is the highest common factor and the answer for this question is rupees 4. Now this are a few questions from the chapter HCF and LCM I hope this is clear.